the worst consequence of last night is that nobody I've asked knows what the government of the Bank of England said. I've asked Greenpeace, I've asked the Labour protesters, the ones who think that uh, Mark Fibber is over the top. They haven't a clue. There are 21 paragraphs, a thousand words, that's what eight minutes of speaking about climate change and how to adjust to it, what we need to do, how we're doing it, and what more we need to do. If I was a supporter of Greenpeace, I'd take my money away and say, I'm not going to support you for six months until you apologise for stopping this message getting out properly to the world. It's vitally important. It's like Margaret Thatcher's first speech on the environment. It, it's a epoch making. Then you come to the question of what happens when people start to trying to invade studios. Well, as I've reminded another channel, BBC, have they yet shown what happened on the 23rd of May 1988 when people invaded the studio, Nicholas Witchell jumped on one, kept her under a table while Sue Lawley went on with the news. People congratulated Nicholas Witchell. They were right to do so. I had to come in through four bits of security to come into the studio. The same thing should apply to protesters. There is not a right to break into events, especially if they're being televised nationally, and they matter nationally. Then come the comparison. What would have happened if someone had got in who was carrying something dangerous, acid, a knife, a, a, a collapsible truncheon, and gone and assaulted the Chancellor of the Exchequer in front of heaven knows how many people? People would have said, why didn't someone intervene? You don't know in advance. Mark Field did intervene, I would have intervened, and I'm sorry that other people didn't as well. You end up with the question, was what he did proportionate, having stopped her? And I would argue that it was, but people can investigate that and come to their own conclusions. But my view is that I wish more people had acted the way Mark Field did, fewer people act the way those demonstrators do, and we could actually get on with dealing with climate change, which is what Greenpeace thought they were after. You refer to the other protesters, they all stopped when they were halted. Who got furthest? This one. How close was she to the Government of the Bank of England and the Chancellor of the Exchequer? Very close. Not only one of the most important financial days of the year, but the most important climate change day of the year. But that wouldn't have been in my mind. I'd have said, is this person going to someone who normally gets police protection? Does he need protecting? And do the police have any greater powers than I do, whether I'm an ordinary member of the public, a member of parliament, or a minister? The police have the same powers that I've got. So what actually happened, if it had been done by a police officer, say a woman police officer or a male police officer, would have been regarded as appropriate. If it's appropriate for them, it's appropriate for Mark Field as well. She wasn't grabbed by the throat, and I'm sorry that the protesters are saying that. It's quite clear that he stopped her, he then changed her direction, and then steered her out from behind. That's not grabbing by the throat. And if you prefer her to being grabbed by the chest, you'd be then accused of sort of feeling her up. So I think by holding from behind and getting her out, and she was going pretty willingly, quite fast, the issue was dealt with. I think it's almost a model.